Okay, so here I am in Froyo right now, as you can see from the white status bar and stuff up there. And I've downloaded CyanogenMon7. Um, it's on my SD card under Downloads, as well as the Google Apps, the G Apps thing. And I verified the MD5 sums for both of those. So the next step is to boot into recovery. So first we'll shut down the phone. And say goodbye to Froyo. Bye, Froyo. So to boot into your recovery image, on the Nexus one, you hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And you wait until it gives you the screen. And we'll wait a second, it'll flash some stuff right there. And now it's interactive. So we can use volume down to highlight recovery and then hit the power button to select it. So within recovery is when we're going to do all the magic stuff. Uh, we're going to first back up our files. So if you ever want to come back to whatever ROM you're running right now, you can always restore, and it'll be like you never flashed anything. All your files will be there, all, all your configuration stuff. Then we're going to wipe your phone, like all of the data from your phone's internal memory, and then replace it with the new ROM, Cyanogen Mod 7. So first we'll do the backup. In Amon Ray, I'm going to go down to uh, Backup and Restore and select that. And then NAND backup. And I'm going to go down to perform backup. And it'll ask you to confirm by hitting the trackball again. So this backup will take a couple of minutes. And uh, you should see some indicating dots while that happens. And we'll fast forward through this. <laughs> Okay, so we're back, and uh, that took probably three minutes altogether to do. So now at this point, um, you can hit volume down to move back one level on the menu. And uh, so if at any time you want to go back to exactly how your phone was before you flashed your ROM, you can just go to restore right there instead of backup, and restore from that backup image that we just made. So I'm going to hit volume down once again, and we're at the parent menu. So the next step is to actually um, wipe all of your phone's data. So we'll go down to wipe. And we'll wipe three things here. The first will be the slash data. That's all of the internal data on your phone. So like the ROM, as well as any of your preferences, like system-wide preferences applications that are stored on your phone, all of that stuff is going to be gone, so make sure you're aware of that, but it is important to do. So I'm going to wipe data by selecting it, and it will ask to confirm, so I'll do that, and it'll format the data, and that goes very quickly. The next step is to wipe the cache, and we'll do that. That will go quickly as well. And finally, the Delvic cache. And confirm. Okay, so now, at this point, we have a blank phone with just the recovery image on it. So now we will flash the new stuff. So hit volume down to go back to the main menu and go to flash zip from SD card. So from this menu, we'll choose zip from SD card. And now you're browsing the SD card. You start out at the root of your SD card. So if you put your file there, you'll see it in this menu. My stuff is in the download folder. So I'll hit that. And you'll see the Google Apps zip as well as the CyanogenMod 7 zip. So I'm going to flash CyanogenMod first. So I'll select it. And trackball to confirm. 
So this will take probably one minute. And this is flashing the new operating system, the new ROM on your phone. And I'll fast forward through this. Okay, we're back, and that did take about one minute to flash. So now we have the brand new ROM, Cyanogen Mod 7, on your phone. And the last thing we really need to do is flash the Google Apps zip that you downloaded. So it's the same procedure. We'll choose zip from SD card. And again, I have mine in the download folder on my SD card. And I'll go to the G Apps zip thing and select that and trackball to confirm and this should not take as long okay and uh so that's everything all we need to do now is reboot so volume down to get to the main menu and reboot system now so if everything went well, we should see the Cyanogen mod um, boot animation, which you'll see in a second. And one thing I've noticed from flashing ROMs to my phone is that the first time after you flash a new update, um, the boot always seems to take a lot longer than it normally does. So I guess it's running, you know, install scripts and things like that. So don't worry, because it, it usually does take longer. There's our Cyanogen mod logo, so that's great. And this will take a while. I won't fast forward, just so you can get an idea of how long it takes to boot. And there we are. Now it's just like you have a new phone. Um, all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions to set up your, you know, um, log into your Google account and everything like that. So I'll do that. And I'll sign into my account here. Okay, um, so the rest is pretty straightforward. Um, it will ask you which of the Google applications you want to download, since that zip that we downloaded of the Google Apps is really just like a minimal thing to get you started. So if you're unsure, just go ahead and select everything. <laughs> and while you're doing all this stuff, Android OS is actually syncing back all of your system-wide preferences so over the course of maybe 10 or 15 minutes, your phone should kind of restore itself, including all of the contacts that you've had, um, your brightness settings, wallpaper settings, things like that. Um, they should all come back. So you shouldn't have to set that up again. Anyway, um, so you just go through and install each of the things that you've checked. But I'm going to skip that for now. So we'll just go through all of these menus, and once you're done, your phone will be back up and running on the Cyanogen Mod 7 ROM, which is Android 2.3 Gingerbread. So that's everything. Enjoy!